The About Me page is all about you. It's your opportunity to give your visitors and potential clients a glimpse of who you are, where your strengths lie, and what you can offer them. We'll use a variety of widgets on this page, including several pro widgets, and style them for a presentation that really stands out. In your browser, navigate to the Open About Me page tab that we created earlier. Click Edit with Elementor. Instead of adding a new section, we'll add the template from the home page we created earlier in the course. The template's layout is very similar to what we will need for the About Me page, and using the template will require less editing than starting from scratch. Click to open the library. Go to My Templates and insert the home page template. Click Yes to import document settings. For this page, we'll need to make a small change to the columns. Select the first column and type 60. The right column will automatically be 40. Select the heading text and change it to About Me. We'll use the Icon List widget to highlight the most important skills. In Widgets, find the Icon List. Drag it in under the heading. We'll delete two items from the list. Then we'll style the last item and duplicate it in order to copy its style when creating the rest of the items. So go ahead and delete two items. Click to expand the remaining item. In text, type 3D Design. You can't see the text yet since the default color is secondary, which is white for this website. Let's add the icon and then style the item right away so we can see the text. Click here to go to the icon library. Search for the circle icon, select it, and click to insert it. In Style, under Icon, change the color to Accent, and make the icon a little smaller. Under Text, change the text color to Primary, and the typography to Accent Text. Perfect! Go back to the content and click to duplicate the item twice. So we'll have three items in total. Select the second item and type Graphic Design. For the last item, type Illustration. Click here to change the layout to inline. Select the text and enter your About Me copy. It can be a summary of your specialties, a short description of yourself and your hobbies, or perhaps the highlights of your work experience. Just make sure it's geared toward your intended audience and easy to understand. Let's update the button text and set it to download your CV when clicked. Change the text to Download CV. In order to set up the download link, we'll first need to upload a CV or resume to the WordPress Media Library. Click Command or Control E to bring up the finder and begin typing Dashboard. While holding down Command or Control, click the Dashboard link to open in a new tab. Click Media, Add New, and drag and drop in your CV file. Click Edit and click Copy URL to copy the path location of the file. Go back to the editor and paste the URL in the link field. Click the gear icon, and in the custom attributes field, type download equals quote true unquote. This enables the option to download a linked file when the button is clicked. Let's update the button style and change the background color to accent. The bright color will help draw your visitor's attention to it. On hover, set the background color to primary. Now we'll add a Lottie widget animation to help call attention to the download button even more. Drag and drop the Lottie widget right under the button. Go to LottieFiles.com and search for a suitable animation for this page. This one looks good. Click to open the animation options. We could use it as is by copying the Lottie animation URL, but instead we'll customize the animation color to match the site. Scroll down and click Edit Layer Colors. It will open in the online Lottie editor. Click Grouped Colors and paste in the hex code for the accent color on your site. Scroll down in the panel and click Update. Now click the download button and save it to your computer. Go back to the editor to the Lottie widget. For the source, leave it on Media File. Click the Upload icon. If this is the first time you're uploading a Lottie file, you'll receive this warning. 
This is to make sure you are using files from a trusted source, as these files have the potential to contain malicious code. Click Enable. Now we'll adjust the settings. To keep the animation running continuously, switch Loop to Yes. In Style, reduce the width to change its size. OK, let's position the Lottie widget next to the Download button. Recall that when we created the Contact button in the header, we set its positioning to Inline. Since we copied the button style from the header to the home page, and then saved the home page as a template, which we inserted here, Inline positioning is already set. So now we just need to set the Lottie widget's positioning. In Advanced, change the position to Inline. Now go back to Content and set the alignment to Left. Perfect! Now we'll add a spacer widget underneath. Drag it in. With Inline positioning, it can be a little tricky to get the widget into the right spot, but it's easy to fix with the navigator. Click here to open it. You can see it's organized into sections, columns, and widgets, just like in the editor. So just drag the spacer under the Lottie widget like that. For this next part, we'll add in testimonials. It's really important for visitors to be able to read honest feedback from people you've worked with so they can understand more about your character and the way you communicate and handle projects. Go back to the widgets library and drag in a divider. In Add Element, select Text and type Testimonials. In Style, set the divider's color to Accent. Change the text color to Accent, Typography to Accent Text, and lastly, position it to the left. In Advanced, unlink and add padding to the right to align with the text editor. In Widgets, search for the testimonial carousel. Drag it below the divider. We have a number of options in the testimonial carousel, which I encourage you to go through and experiment with. But for this site, we'll design it in a more minimal style to match the look and feel of the whole site. Similar to the icon list, we'll delete two items, adjust the remaining item, and then duplicate it. So go ahead and delete two items. Type in the name of your client or colleague and their comment. Remove the placeholder image and delete the name and title fields text. Now duplicate the item twice and change text accordingly. For layout, select Image Right and set alignment to the left. Under Additional Options, set Pagination to None. In Style, unlink and change the padding on the left. Under Content, set the text color to Primary, and in Typography, customize it a bit. Click Navigation and set the color to Accent. In Advanced, unlink and add padding to the right to align it with the divider. Right click the Testimonials divider, click Duplicate. Drag it into the right column at the top. Change the text to Studio Snapshots. In Advanced, set the padding to zero. Right click on the Slides widget and delete it. Next, we'll add in a Pro Gallery widget. Drag it below the divider. Select Images for this gallery. Caption them and click Insert Gallery. In Layout, select Justified and change the spacing to 7. In Overlay, select Caption for the title. In Style, set the overlay hover color to Accent. Under Content, for Typography, select Accent Text. This will display on mouse over like this. Click the image to open it in the light box. Here you'll see the image enlarged. You can also view it in full screen, zoom in and pan, or share the image. 
you can customize the lightbox settings and change its style. Let's do it. Click the hamburger menu and go to Site Settings, Lightbox. The lightbox title and description can be linked to the image metadata to display your choice of the image's title, caption, alt, description, or none for either option. I'll set the lightbox titles to display the image captions, which we'll see the moment we update and refresh. Let's also hide the description by setting it to none. For the UI hover color, select Accent. Then change the toolbar icon size to make them larger. OK, let's update and check it out. The changes are saved across your website and apply to all lightboxes globally. Go back to Editor and close and reopen the lightbox image to see all the changes. Perfect. OK, the page is looking great, but it's also important that you check that every page on your website is optimized for mobile since each page may require its own tweaks. So let's check out the mobile version of this page. The responsive edits we made for the home page were imported from the template that we inserted here on this page. So select the section, and in advanced, responsive, set the reverse columns mobile back to no. Let's add some space above the heading. Go to advanced, Unlink and add padding to the top. Now select the icon list and in style, change the alignment to center. For the text editor, go to style and select justified. Select the button and set the padding to zero. Select the Lottie widget, change the width to 50 pixels. Change the dividers padding to zero, and do the same for the testimonials carousel. And finally, select the gallery, and in content, change the row height to 130. Hide the panel to preview. Bring back the panel, click Update, and Preview. Looks great. Now let's test the Download CV button. As you can see, it's prompting me to save the file. Perfect. And with that, we've completed the About Me page. Next up, find out how to build the contact form pop-up to complete your website. So keep watching.